Hello, my name is Amanda Dacquilenny. I'm a partner at Meyer Unkovic & Scott. I practice in our firm's corporate and business and real estate and lending groups. I'd be happy to assist you with anything from a merger, acquisition, reorganization, divestiture, entity formation, or dissolution. On the real estate side, I'm happy to assist you with any corporate or residential purchase or sale, leasing or financing related transaction. If you have any questions or need any information, please feel free to find me, Amanda Dacquilenny at muslaw.com. I'm often contacted about what steps you should take if you're interested in selling your business. Whether you're a publicly traded corporation or a small closely held business, the prospect of selling your company should be approached with careful consideration. You want to approach selling your business much like you would selling your home. Would you put your home on the market without maybe repainting, redoing a bathroom, or updating your kitchen appliances? Probably not, because you'll want to maximize your value. The same principles apply when you want to sell your business. You want to put your work in on the front end so that you can maximize your value and ease your organization through the process on the back end. Keeping that in mind, we typically advise our clients that they should try to approach selling their business and preparing for selling their business at least a year in advance before they put it on the market. Here are some things that you can do to better help prepare your organization for sale. My first recommendation would be to have an independent valuation performed. Having an independent valuation performed will set the groundwork for a reasonable expectation on what you could expect for a buyer to pay for your company. Secondly, you probably want to speak with your tax and legal advisors. Generally speaking, you can structure the sale of your company in two ways, an asset sale or a stock sale. There are pros and cons to both, especially from a liability and tax perspective. So it's very important to have these conversations up front, since there may be some considerations that would limit your ability to sell one way versus the other. Thirdly, you should probably take a look at your current business practices. Do your key employees have employment agreements? Do you use appropriate vendor and customer contracts? Do those contracts contain provisions that protect your organization? Do you know where your contracts are, what they actually say? And do you have these documents readily available? Having all of these answers taken care of upfront will minimize any issues you may encounter during the due diligence process once your business is actually marketed. Lastly, but probably most importantly, it's important to figure out who is gonna be buying your business. Are you selling to a group of key employees or management personnel? Are you a family business that's poised to transfer your company to the next generation? Or are you gonna be marketing to a third party, such as a competitor or a private equity firm? There are multiple considerations to make depending on who you'll be marketing your business to. But if you know who you'll be selling to, you may be able to better market your company upfront. Whatever your corporate needs may be, whether it's interested in starting a business, merging a business, buying a business, selling your business, or looking to wrap things up and shut them down, I'm happy to help you. Please feel free to find me at muslaw.com.